case it, it's gonna... What's up, guys? I just realized my microphone is not plug plugged in, so... Cash cool, what's up? Sounds better. All right, so everybody, um, Lardy here. Just gonna do like a boss rush, kind of a short one with Wes. Just gonna use Beefalo. It's like, in my opinion, not as exciting as the Wigford and the Moose one, but you know, it's just kind of like proof of concept in case anyone wants to look at this stream later on to see just what the Beefalo can do. So I'm going to be playing as Wes, just to make sure that, you know, I'm I'm basically forced to fight on a beefalo. Because Wes has his, you know, weaker damage and stuff. Hey, Mikey. Mega Chunks, Amel. What's up, guys? So, yeah, it's just a solo boss rush. Gonna play West, but you know I'm not really gonna use him. Gonna rush a beefalo first thing and then try and do a bunch of cool stuff. kind of sad about that poll that I put on the large channel. I thought that um, when it comes to favorite character combinations, I thought uh, Wakeford and the Wermoose would have ranked higher than, than that, but I think they only got like 16% of the votes. For some reason that Wormwood and Wartox combo is getting like 30%, which kind of proves that I've been living under a rock because I only just figured that one out, out recently <laughs> with me and Mikey. So Twiggy, ah, it's just a regular world, except it might be a juicy berry, I haven't seen any bushes yet. But to be honest, um, if you're taming Beeflo, I would try and hope to get a Twiggy Tree World, like basically Twiggy Tree World, Grass Gecko, and uh, Juicy Berry is probably better than regular if you're taming Beeflo. Just because you're going to be on the move so much. and. Beefalo picks up stuff on off the ground a little bit slower than the regular character, but it's still much faster to have, you know, a bunch of grass and twigs and berries on the ground rather than having to pick them up like this. Wendy Wartox is good. Yeah. I didn't put that as one of the option options because I didn't want to repeat Wartox on there. And I tried to keep uh, like the top tiers off the list too, because honestly, you know, the best combination might just be Maxwell and Maxwell, because you can just, you know, once once one Maxwell uses Shadow Prison, 
the other one uses it right after just keep the boss like perpetually stun locked or trapped that might be the best combo to be honest but i don't know not the most exciting combo actually to be honest maxwell is not the most exciting character in my opinion maybe if you're playing single player can be pretty cool before you get the bone helm but after that it's just like i don't feel like i'm playing the game anymore No offense to Pooley if he's watching this. But yeah. Had fun with Maxwell. Maybe the first week or two after his rework drop. But after that, it kind of got boring. Two Maxwells. Yep. I should have clarified in my, my question too. I said favorite. And I think some people took that to mean which is the best. And there's a difference between that because the best combos are definitely not my favorites. So yeah, one thing great about Wes is he got these speedy balloons so he can really have a quick start compared to other characters. He just does his jobs better. You mean the Maxwell Maxwell combination? The Maxwell Maxwell combination is just broken against bosses. Actually, Maxwell is pretty broken against bosses just by itself. Like I've I've done a lot of these like uh, get a bunch of friends together and try and rush raid bosses, and I gotta say the most boring one I've ever done was when uh, one of the one of my friends was playing Maxwell. So we, we tried we actually tried the Maxwell and Willow combination, which was, you know, Willow has Bernie, and Bernie attracts all the Nightmare creatures, and Maxwell is basically his only weakness, but other than his low HP, which isn't really a weakness unless you're really new to the game or don't have any armor. But his only weakness is really his insanity. You know, when he summons too many duelists, or if he uses Shadow Prison too many times without recovering sanity he, he'll become insane and get attacked and getting attacked by nightmare creatures really messes up your cast but uh, if you have a will on your team then you're effectively rocking a bone helm from the very beginning because bernie attracts all the nightmares yeah it's a it's a pretty good combination but it's really uh it's not that fun to fight bosses when they're just per perpetually in shadow prison the whole time Really effective though. Alchemy tons of extra stuff. Oh, can you explain how that one works? The Maxwell Wilson uh, synergy. Haven't found the beef yet. Nah, it's just day one. I usually find beefalo end of day one if I'm playing at Wes, sometimes if I'm lucky. And typically day two, I can find them. But now that I said that, it's probably going to take me to day like three or four, just because you know, I'm jinxing it. But yeah, once you're in the mosaic, you, all you need to do is really get 11 gold. And you basically have everything you need to tame it. Because you need one gold for the science machine, you need uh, three for the buffalo bell, you need four for the alchemy engine, and then once you hammer your science machine, you can get that one gold back, and then you have four for the saddle. But I'm going to go with 11 just because it's a little bit more convenient. I love playing reworked Wes. His low stats make it so easy to go insane. Yeah, it's not... Well, look, Sid, even if he didn't have low stats, he can still make it... I mean, he can still go insane and... And uh, maybe not 
going back to sane, but he can go insane really quickly because each balloon costs you five sanity, right? So he's really good at dropping his sanity. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Kaylin. I think that's how you say your name. You said my beefalo guides have been helpful. Yeah, Beard, um, he does... He, Beard doesn't really do, I, I would say, high-level guides. I, I'd say my guides are more high-level than Beard's. Beard's are more like general information, stuff you can get off the wiki. Sometimes he, go, he gets some interesting tricks from his, uh, I guess people who comment on his videos or discord and stuff but yeah i mean beard is really necessary and uh, he's good at what he does but uh is that's that's just the type of information you're gonna get just regurgitate the wiki in a in an easy and interesting way you know i'd rather i'd rather watch a beard video than read than research the wiki on my own to be honest like whenever there's a new update i end up like find i find myself watching beard so, I like what he does. Beefalo have downsides. <laughs> yeah, they do have downsides. Oh, actually, I have a question for you, Kaylin. Since, you, since you're um, telling me that you're relatively new to beefalo taming, so what have you done with your beefalo? What have you used it for? Like, have you have you fought any bosses with it? Have you rushed the ruins with it? Stuff like that. Oh, thanks, Mikey. This is my second favorite West skin. First one is the sunglasses one. Hey, Tristan, or Trestron, is that how you say it? <laughs> Alright, there it is. I think that's the Beefalo Savannah. So it looks like I'm going to start taming these guys day two and a half. Actually, that's not the beefalo savanna. It's like the small patch that spawns in a forest. But either way, it's good. Oh, okay. So, K Kaylin, would you call yourself... I don't know, I'm not sure if you watched that video I made of the DST uh, player tier list. Would you call yourself like a... I don't know. Like, where would you rank yourself on that tier list? Because apparently most of the people who watch my channel are B tier players. In other words, they've beaten all the seasonal bosses, but they haven't really gotten into beating raid bosses yet. I made a triumphant West Bloodborne actually turned out amazing. I posted it. Sorry, Sid. What what is Bloodborne? Is that like is that an animation software? probably coming off as very ignorant right now is that a video game Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess you customize your character to make it look like Wes. Cool. Okay, hopefully there's more than two B-Flow in this. Okay, perfect. So, immediately feed it, get the same taming, started, taming process started. I had 26 twigs, so I'm gonna feed them 20 right off the bat. So he stops, yeah, so when he stops begging for food, you know his hunger is at like 200. 
So you look at the day, he's not gonna he's gonna be fed all the way until like middle of the night. Okay, and now I gotta set a science machine down. Pick Buffalo Bell. Backpack. Shovel. New to the game. Wow, you're new to the game and you're already taming beefalo. I wish I knew how to tame beefalo when I was new to the game. Would have made my experience so much easier. Pim pim. Nah, man. I, I'm known for going default everything. Except apparently this West skin. I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks that all the beefalo like costumes look ugly? I think they all look ridiculous. Maybe the ice one is okay. Maybe. But I like the regular look more. definitely do <laughs> yeah they all suck but for the memes <laughs> no I'm actually trying to rush stuff so I'm not gonna focus on the aesthetics too much oh no and since I'm hosting my own server this time I can actually dodge and stuff it's pretty awesome Eternally be followed by the spider. I don't really see the benefit of ornery. Could just be my tendency to accidentally let the beeflo die, but it doesn't seem like fighting should be the primary use of a beeflo. Um The Mask Bearer, did you did you watch my beeflo taming is OP video? Because I make an argument for ornery, which is that you basically get an infinite tentacle spike, which, you know, it's not better than the Hambat for sure. But against, you know, your day-to-day -day combat, not necessarily bosses, it's really, uh, what would I say, efficient? It really saves you on resources. Sid says, yeah, I never use the beef skin changer. They look ugly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Spider warrior over there. And I should have been hammering these pig houses, but I got distracted. And I'm probably going to starve because I'm not paying attention. And I got to say, Wes's hunger, like, is, the worst thing about him is his hunger. Not his health, not his sanity. That 75 hunger. I always got to pay attention to it. I just hope that warrior spider is not going to come near me. Because it could be bad. Oh, okay. Actually, when you get the war saddle, though, that's basically an infinite dark sword. So even against bosses, pretty good. Man, I'm gonna starve to death, aren't I? Whew. Almost died there. It would've been great. Beefalo taming is OP, get killed on day three. Yeah, I forgot. Wes takes 27 chops to chop down a totally normal tree. Ooh. 
That's the worst. That is the worst thing about Wes. His slower uh, working speed. Really annoying. Is that another? Yeah, it's another one. Awesome. Yep. Ornery is, I mean, if you think about it, Ornery basically gives you a shield of terror with infinite durability and uh, well you can attack with it an infinite amount of times and with a thousand HP that regenerates seven HP every 10 seconds and then you can rapidly heal it if you give it blue mushrooms it's good it's good for bosses it's good for some bosses if you got a tank though B floor are not your go-to uh, weapon they're not good tanks against bosses And I'm starving. Do you play West for the challenge? No, uh, well, I'm playing West because I'm trying to make this run all about beefalo taming. So I feel like if I played another character, I'd have the urge to fight things, you know, with that character instead. But it's more like if I can survive, you know, my success on this run will be completely due to how good b -flow taming is if I'm playing the worst character in the game. That's what I thought anyway. Yeah, you're right. That's right, Sid. But here's the thing, Sid. I only play to, <laughs> I only play to like spring. That's how my worlds usually are these days. I never do like long long term worlds anymore. Wait, Sid, so is your favorite character Maxwell? I forget. Because I guess Maxwell is really good on a beefalo. What do you mean? Wes is the most overpowered character in gaming that has ever existed. Yeah, if you're trying to speedrun death, sure. Ornery is good for hunts, yep. People are just great for like day-to-day -day fights. Day-to-day -day fights, traveling. But I'm gonna be kind of being aggressive with this guy in this run. I'm not going to use this beefalo against the Shadow or the Nightmare Werepig, though. That's kind of... I'm not good enough to kite him perfectly without risking my beefalo dying. So you're not going to see that. Like Warly. Interesting. I can respect that though. Dude, Mr. Gigio, Mac Maxwell is like a war machine even without a beefalo. The guy's just made for destroying bosses. Wendy or Wormwood? Why do you play Wendy or Wormwood when you're online? I'm gonna drop something. I'm gonna drop that.
these red mushrooms. Red, red, yeah, two reds. Why am I taking 30 twigs with me? Because beef flow require a lot of twigs. I am going to have to get off the beef flow a little bit in order to mine statues and uh, fight the nightmare wear pig. So I do want to get a, a large um, supply of twigs that is readily available to me. Yep. Movement speed to cut around. And you can wear your uh, nightmare, was that shadow armor? Or night armor, is that what it's called? You can wear that and get all the benefits from that stuff without using the durability since your beefalo is protecting you. Yeah, I think Maxwell actually probably synergizes with beefalo even better than Wendy at this point. Um, I'm not going to dig up spiky bushes because they're not around me right now. I would ideally want those, but I want these guys, I want to plant these guys real quick. Like, I'm going to set down my base, like, probably tomorrow. Even if it's not at the best spot, I want to set it down. Let's see, it looks like the swamp. It's probably a good spot to do it right here. Bee queen. Oh, it's a bunch of spiders. Beefalo sleeps right in the fire. Yeah, so I'm just planting these guys because I want them to grow. I think they'll... If I keep them in my, my inventory... You know, they're not going to grow all that time that they're in there. So that's why I want to plant them real quick. These guys should... How long does it take saplings to sprout? Like three or four days? Forget. But either way, I think I should have two harvests before I go into the caves. And I forgot to hammer all those pig houses. And I'm starving. I do plan on using steam twigs, yes. Alright, am I gonna die? So, because I was dumb, I have the stream brain where I'm not really focusing. I should have been hammering pig houses, but since I didn't, I'm going to see if there's any pig heads in this swamp. And I should be using the speedy balloon. There's usually some pig heads on this path. I just need four pig skin. I'm good. There we are. There's my pig heads. And, hey, look. I found the shadow chest set piece. Perfect. Makes my run a lot easier. Four days to regrow. Thank you. Wilson's pretty good for people learning how to team their first beef it's logs twigs yeah that's what you said before Sid and I I haven't tried it myself but just in theory sounds really good converting logs into twigs at a 2 to 1 ratio or 1 to 2 ratio wow that was scary just gotta make sure that I don't starve to death Oh, 
There's a wormhole right there. Man, I, honestly, guys, I'm not doing really good with my beef pillow taming right now. This guy's probably starving a lot. Typically, what I, what I want to do is dig up mushrooms to feed him. But I haven't really seen any good ones. Collect silk every chance you get. Um, yeah, I, I think the best, like, if you're trying to rush things, like, really hard, probably you should just go around destroying spider dens, right? But, I don't know, I feel bad when I do that. Even if, like, I'm not planning on hanging around this world for a long time, I just feel bad about destroying renewable resources like that. So I end up not doing it. Yeah, Wes is probably, is he second best at getting a beef flow as early as possible? Because the first best would probably be Wartox because he spawns in with souls and stuff. Okay, I got 20 logs, good. Can make science machine, wait, wait, did, no. Did all my twigs burn? Guys, did I did I burn all my twigs? <laughs> I think I burned all those twigs that I tried to collect. That sucks. Run is going great. Oh, whatever. Minor setback. Damn it. What an idiot. Maybe I should stop looking at chat so much. Okay. I've not been doing a good job taming you. I wonder how long I can ride for. Yeah, man, that's, I was just talking about how I don't want to destroy renewable resources. And here I am destroying 40 saplings. All that effort. Nah, it's not a big deal, though. It's, it's more of a convenience. I just got to pick them as I go. Oh, this guy's not that good. Okay, let me count. Actually, not that bad. We're at 45 seconds, 45 to 50 seconds. Pretty good. Gao, how are you? on this stream and also playing Deep Rock Galactic at the same time? That's my question. Chatty. The stream's going great, by the way. Just destroyed 40 saplings by burning them on accident.
Yep. No debate there. Gao is too good. Okay, I'm just down here to get some light bulbs and lantern. Then after that, I can start trying to find the sh chest pieces. <laughs> Apparently, this computer has more than four gigabytes of RAM. I don't think RAM is the issue for this guy. Yeah, Tristy, I tried that once um, with the phone thing, but it's so hard to look at the messages on my phone and play. Like right now I have um, the DST game going on like a kind of a smaller screen on my desktop and I have the chat right next to it. It's much easier to, to read stuff and play at the same time. <laughs> Dude, God, what is this secret uh, Wermoose animation council you're talking about? Did somebody say something dumb? You're just giving him crap for it. Oh yeah, by the way, arachnophobia. Are you trying to beat Bee Queen using Weber? Or uh, what character are you using? Because I can help you out if it's Weber. If it's another character, then... Just gotta do the old pan flute, use super speed on the path, and that kind of tactic. <laughs> I am honestly interested in knowing like that the history of that this Wermoose attack speed thing. Ah. Uh. But from what I, from what I know, um, it seems like Jakey said something like that. Well, uh, Kaylin, I don't name it because you know I'm just gonna delete this road after I, I play through it. I'm not gonna stay in this road too long, so I don't really care about naming it. Okay, you're a Weber main. Uh, Arachnophobia, I actually did a, a playthrough with Weber, sort of like a boss rush, and if you wanted to, you can go back and watch that video and show you how I beat Bee Queen. It's pretty effective, I'd say. Basically, you get a bunch of nurses. Well, not a bunch of nurses. I think I used six nurses, uh, nine Dining Death Dwellers. You can substitute Spider Warriors for that instead, and then the rest were all spitters. I think I had like 25 spitters or something like that. Melts her pretty quickly. Big Chungus. Yeah, Chungus is another inside joke, right? <laughs> Seeing you and uh, Porcus making a reference to that. I'm not sure what it means. these two yeah this one I'm not gonna cook this guy this guy is the key to doing well so wait so I think I found okay I found the rook did I find the knight I think I found the knight did I find the knight yeah I guess I didn't find a knight yet. Hoofery? Well, 
Was that two sinkholes right next to each other? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, when I play West, I don't really go through sinkholes that much just because of the sanity thing. I don't want to really waste time fighting creatures. Meatballs. No, I think this guy's worth more than meatballs. At least two meatballs. Yeah. Fair enough. Meat shield. That's actually a pretty good name. Because <laughs> it's literally true. Is a meat shield. Biggest beefus. <laughs> Did you guys know that if you're Wolfgang and you're mighty, your beefalo also becomes giant when Wolfgang rides it? You guys know that? Probably not because nobody would ever use Beefalo as a Wolfgang player. It's like a sin to do that. Ham <laughs> bats. So yeah, this is how I usually map out stuff to try and find the pieces. And I think I'm probably dumb. Like there's probably a much more efficient way to do this. But I'm like, okay, I see black. Let's go clear out the black. And I forgot to make a lantern. Cause streaming brain. Did it really get removed? I remember trying it out recently. Like uh, maybe like a month ago. Maybe two months ago. Too lazy to move them? Is that because you don't have a beefalo? I don't know, whenever I play DST, just because I'm at the point where the only way I can have fun in this game is to kind of rush bosses, or rush bosses with friends, or try and use combinations that are not the typical top tiers. Um, I I have like a pain in my my chest until I finish all the chest pieces. <laughs> like like I feel it's always something that's weighing down on me whenever I start a new game. First time I'm fully tamed the beefalo was with Wurt. What do you think about that? I don't know, I don't really play Wirt too much. I know Wirt is good. Like what you can set up merm bases around all the raid bosses and you can just destroy them with the uh, warrior merms or whatever. But I never really got into Wirt. Oh, there's the Nighthead. Should probably start collecting these pig houses too. <laughs> I 
go see a doctor. Nah, I just gotta assemble the pieces. Pain goes away. Okay, what can I drop? Don't need a torch? I guess I don't need this too. Oh yeah, Tris, by the way, thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks for all that, that crazy donations you were giving me last time. I went out and I got a steak for myself. <laughs> Or two steaks, actually. But seriously, you guys should try a sous vide. If you guys never tried that before. It's really good. Tri-tip. It wasn't a steak, actually. It's a tri-tip roast. No, I got them from Costco. So I don't think Costco really does have sales for their meat. Two steaks for 20 is a pretty good deal. I think it was uh, where, I'm, where I live, it's $9 a pound. Or, no, $8 a pound for a choice tri-tip from Costco. So, yeah, I had to pay a little bit more, but it should be really good. Maybe I'll take a picture and I'll put it on the community page or something. Because, yeah, I, seriously, sous vide makes any cut, like even the worst cut, really good. Okay, day six. I think I'm safe to go into the swamp with this dude now. So I'm taming for, what, four days? Maybe three and a half days? That means about a minute I can ride him. So I shouldn't get bucked off at a bad time. Oh yeah, I'm guessing everybody in chat has probably tamed a beefalo before. But has this ever happened to you? Have you have you ever dropped your beefalo bell and ran halfway across the map and then jumped jumped off your beefalo and had to chase it like all the way back to your bell? Because it happens to me so much. That almost happened to me on one of my streams, but then luckily Mikey caught it. He grabbed the bell for me and he brought it to me. <laughs> but man, that happens way too much to me. <laughs> Damn, $10 for a ribeye? Jeez. $10 for ribeye, is that from Costco or is it from just another supermarket or something? Because over here at, uh, at Costco, choice ribeye is $13.99 and I think prime is 
It's pretty expensive. <laughs> no, we're it's a joke, Kyle. I mean, I do live it by kind of in the forest area, which is why things are more expensive where I live. Um, no, you want to keep the bell because even if it's fully tamed, like you can only go, it'll only follow you through a wormhole if you have the bell on you. And uh, the bell is still a good way to keep it in one area if you're not going to ride it for a while. And uh, it will only follow you into the caves if you have the bell. So you still need the bell even after it's tamed. But yeah, it's not like the bell is an issue or anything. It's it's me. It's it's a it's a user issue. It's not it's not the device. Brazil? <laughs> no, I don't live in Brazil. I live in the U.S. Just not, uh, not by many people. So, you know, the further you live away from society, the more expensive it is to ship things to your area. So it's just, yeah, that's why the prices are a little bit higher. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's a skill issue. Okay, so I just got to find the bishop head. And then I want to make some crock pots, refrigerator, bird cage. Not going to use any of that stuff except for maybe the crock pots. But still just want to make it just for proof of um, proof of concept. I really hope I didn't pass the bishop head and just forgot where it is. Making a list of PC components. Oh, Queen's Queen's Gathering, I think that's what this set piece is called. Interesting. Here's the Oasis Desert. Forty ninety. What does that mean? pick cactus but I don't have any room for it. Yeah, I'll just give you the gold. Oh guy's not he's not sending me a list so I can run DST on my computer. He's uh he wants me to run like better games. Like Deep Rock Galactic, or I don't know, what else is there? Maybe Doom Eternal. Every game I want to tame one, one of each kind. <laughs> I've never tamed Pudgy, I've never tamed Default. I've only tamed Ornery and Rider. I don't see why you would ever want to tame Pudgy. I honestly don't. I think Clay should change it up. They should give it a couple of tweaks to make it more viable. Rider's viable. Um, but still, I think Ornery is the best. I 
I mean, Ornery is the best in most situations, I'd say. I just like that infinite tentacle spike that you get. Never tried on my laptop. Figured I'd it'd suck. <laughs> Here, the thing is, Tristy, if you if you have problems running DSD on your laptop, you just gotta minimize the screen. The smaller you make the screen, the game automatically decreases the resolution, makes it run better. Sandy regen. <laughs> Status symbol. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of. Pudgy is a status symbol. I was actually gonna try and tame a Pudgy in a public server and see what everybody, how everybody reacts to it, but not too lazy. And I think most of the people who play public servers, or at least a good chunk of them, wouldn't even know, like, what that is. You streaming is fresh and good in this community. Oh, thanks, man. Collie Collie, I think you, I think I might have replied to one of your comments on the, what is your favorite character synergy or something? Name seems familiar. Gal rather team default than ornery. Uh, why is that Gal? Assuming you're not just trolling. I know, it may, is it just because default doesn't uh, require a twig or it doesn't require feeding every time you want to get on it? Just quality of life kind of thing? Yeah. That's what I'd expect too. But I don't know, I've, I've tamed so, Ornery Beeflo so many times that I'm just used to feeding it every time I ride it. It's almost like muscle memory for me. Oh, Sid, have you actually tried to get default before? I've never actually tried. I don't know how hard it is. I'd imagine if you had that beefalo status bar, that would make it a lot easier. Or maybe not. I'm not sure what it displays, actually. Only advantage is the 1.5 seconds it takes you two unmounted. What are you talking about, guy? Does it take you longer to unmount an ornery beefalo? Oh. From Shadow Boats. Shadow Boats, what are you talking about? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but then don't you have to feed the Shield of Terror too? And the Shield of Terror does take up another inventory slot. And I like to fight on the Beefalo just because, you know, you can hold everything while you're fighting. And if you're not, if you don't have good ping, you can just, you know, tank non-boss mobs with it. Just hold down the F button. 
Why are there no shadow creatures spawning? Kyle is baiting you to watch his video. <laughs> Wait, Triste, are you Porcus? Did you just change your name? Hey, Whiskas. Okay. I don't know, for some reason, the way that you're talking about Guile reminded me of Porcus. And I haven't seen Porcus in any of my streams recently. I have room for this. Dang it. I don't know, guy. You gotta give me. You gotta give me more context. Like, what kind of um, play style are you doing? Are you rushing all the bosses as any character, or are you doing like a long-term world? Yeah, Hanslot is probably better for cancel. All right, Gal. Take care, man. Gonna eat in real life. I don't know, like... To me, it's like ornery... And the Glossomer Saddle is fast enough. Like, and I, I, I know Rider goes much faster, gets like over two hundred percent movement speed, with the Glossomer Saddle. But I'm fine with the one hundred eighty percent that you can get with Ornery. No Dinner Guile, only Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> yeah, you guys are playing that game a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, actually, with the Construction Amulet, Glossomer Shadow is really viable in the early game. And it's really viable if you're playing with a lot of people, but if you're solo, I think it's like three days or four days of actively trying to get butterflies, and you should have 34. Okay. Did you guys see the bishop head by any chance? There's a rook. Bishop head, bishop head. Look, it was already there. I already found it all this time for nothing okay
chest pain intensifies. No, chest pain is going away. I found all the pieces and the set piece. So I'm pretty happy. To you, the best beef to get faster is ornery or rider? I mean, rider is objectively faster than ornery. With a uh, rider, I think if you have a rider beef flow and you have the default saddle, I think it gives you a 77% movement speed increase. I think that's the number. Ornery only gives you a 63%. And if you get the Glossomer saddle, I think rider gives you over 200%. It's just that you can't fight with Rider. Rider only does 25 damage per hit, which is just horrible. So you gotta get off of it every single time you wanna fight something. Oh, which can you obtain faster? Um, it's You obtain both of them at the same time. Like there's no difference as far as how long it takes to get either one of them. You'll get the fully tamed beef flow when your domestication reaches 100%. And that domestication increases about 5% every day if you're completely, if you're like riding your beef flow the entire time or if you're keeping its hunger above zero. Man, Sid, honestly, that that math, though, it just doesn't add up. But, I mean, I don't think that you're... I'm not saying that you're wrong. It's just that I think something's got to be wrong then. Like, maybe the wiki's wrong. Because, yeah, the, the, the math just doesn't add up. The War Saddle only gives a 25% speed increase. And the Rider has 133% movement speed on its own so when you pair that with the war saddle it doesn't reach 180 percent it reaches it's more like 160. the best way to get ornery is i mean you guys i made a video on that like the five in my opinion the five best me methods to get ornery beefalo Wait a second. Wait. Okay, Sid. Your beefalo isn't going to benefit from the saddle movement speed increase if you're not riding it. So were you... What Was the beefalo that was running behind you, was it um, not being ridden by anybody? If that's the case, then yeah, that's just going to be regular beefalo movement speed. Which is like 16% faster than default player. You got to have somebody riding on it. Hey, Spider. Like I said, check this out. You see how fast I'm moving right now? Right now I'm moving 63% six, faster than default speed. If I get off my beef load though, look, the beef load is slowly catching up to me. He's moving way slower than 63%, even though he has a saddle on. So he has to have somebody riding him in order to get the full speed increase from the saddle. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't know, man. That's so weird. Something must be wrong with the wiki then. Tentacle Pillar for me, don't know if it's the best. Tentacle Pillar is the fastest, not the safest. The s okay, if the most safest and reliable is definitely the Slurtle method. 
because you can just literally just leave your game you can you can hold the attack button down click on a different window and just leave your game for like a minute or two and your b-flow is just going to continue just to just get more ornery points so my opinion the safest and most reliable is a slurtle method but in practice the way i um get an ornery b-flow is just by fighting bosses so what i usually do when i tame b-flow is fight ag so i use it to fight ag that's 10,000 hp boss that gives him a lot of ornery points and then i also use it to fight the shadow chess pieces so after you're fighting after fighting those two bosses you're pretty much guaranteed to get an ornery b-flow <laughs> DSD logic, more weight makes the B-Flow go faster. True. Yeah. Killing Ancient Guardian with the B flow. That is. I wouldn't say that's guaranteed to make it an ornery. But. I'd say you're almost set to make it an ornery B flow. I put the wrong piece, wrong spot. All right. See, if I didn't burn all those saplings, I would have had tons of twigs right now and I could have been really set. But unfortunately, I'm not smart. Ocean basing. Nope. Sorry, I don't really do that. I don't know. Ocean content doesn't really appeal to me too much. Yeah, I think if Sid is still on the stream... We talked about before that one way to make the pudgy bee flow more viable is to let it uh, swim in the ocean. That would be pretty cool. Because I think the problem with the ocean is that it's not really the lack of good stuff that's out there. Because there, there's some stuff that's kind of interesting. It's just that you are really, it's really hard to maneuver that clunky bolt that they give you. Like, if you want to change directions on that boat, you got to run all the way to the other side of the boat and then start paddling. And then it doesn't immediately change directions, right? Because you first got to stop your momentum. If they gave you more options like the wear goose to travel the ocean, I think more people would enjoy uh, exploring it. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, so it's not really, it's not so much that um, they don't have good loot. Because I think Monkey Island is pretty cool, right? You get a replantable source of bananas and reeds. It's just that tra traveling through the ocean is really annoying. It's not as fun as doing land stuff. Okay. Right?
Where's that hammer? Where's the hammer? Man, I keep on starving at this, this character. It's so annoying. Zings Lord? Okay, hmm. I want to get some silk. How much for a piggyback? I think it's six silk, right? Okay, that should be good. Because I'll get four from the den itself. Ornery is completely useless in a boss rush. Gotta disagree. Disagree with that, Guile. Sorry, man. But then again, I think that your your definition of useless is is not as good as fighting with Wilson. If you're Guile. If you're somebody with Gao's skill level, I think that's your definition of useless. So, yeah, sure, by that definition, I'd say, yeah, maybe. Worse against every boss, and with the War Saddle, assuming you get. Because it's just better for a Dragonfly. Okay. I mean. If you're playing as Wilson, I, I'd say if you're West, though, it's probably better to have the War Saddle. Because West is doing less damage. Wendy. It's definitely better for Wendy. Okay, let's go burn a bunch of stuff. Are they just not worth it in boss rushes in general? Well, the question always like when you when people say stuff like not worth it, it's always compared to what, right? There's a if you're if you're just rushing with I don't know, regular Wilson and a Hambat, you know, you could argue that the super speed is better. It makes cutting them easier. If you're really good at the game, or if you have, you know, the magic luminescence and the walking gain, or whatever, yeah, it, there's a lot of assumptions that, you know, have to be talked about. But I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say worthless. I would instead I'll qualify it and say something like, you know, not as viable or something. I think it's more accurate because you can pull off. In my opinion, you can pull off pretty decent boss rushes with an ornery V-Flow against certain bosses. Against other ones, yeah, sure, they're not really viable. You don't think you'd use ornery V-Flow as Wendy? V-Flow doesn't do well against most bosses. Um... Nah, it's good against Twins of Terror. It's good against Twins of Terror. It's good against Kloss. Uh, what else do I use the beef? When I play Wendy, I use the beef load to fight Dragonfly, Twins of Terror. I use it for B-Queen too, just in the beginning. Once it, because it's basically free um, damage. 
and then once the screen turns red, then I uh, jump off the B flow and fight it on foot. Uh, I use the B flow against Toadstool because uh, you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about your weapon spoiling. Okay, can I make this? All right, can I make that. What else? I think my gold is in here. Okay, so it's just the order in which you do bosses then. Okay. Okay, boards. What do I need for ruins? Beef farms the fastest toad strat. Um, depends when you do toad. If you do toad after getting an ornery beef flow, and if you're playing Wendy, I'd argue that uh, beef flow, and you substitute uh, fire staps instead of the, the what you call the torches. It's easier at least to do it that way. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I think Wolfgang's hunger drain doesn't change, right? No matter what level he's at. It's more like his hunger level affects how quickly his mightiness decreases. Do you, okay, sorry, regrets. I didn't see your comment. Do you know how much faster animation canceled beef's attacks go compared to on foot? Um, okay, so this is what I can say. Against Dragonfly, the way I animation cancel, um, I can get maybe se seven to eight hits in between each slap when I'm riding a beefalo. And if I'm on foot, I get six with a handbat. But that's, that is not, you probably get seven maybe, if you use, and I'm not using animation canceling on foot. Did make a crock pot, right? Okay. Am I going the wrong way? No. Right here. Oh, look. 
Oh, I'm getting interesting set pieces this run. So this one is the... I think there's like four death worms in this thing. Oh, and it's right next to this guy. That should be interesting. If I'm lucky, the death worms will help me fight the nightmare were pig. <laughs> I don't know. I think animation counseling, once you practice enough with it, it just becomes like something you don't ever have to really think about. And animation counseling is really affected, at least from my experience, by your ping and your computer. Like when I minimize my screen or make it smaller so that, you know, it's not as graphic intense, I feel like I can animation cancel more e um, consistent that way. All right, so where is that? I guess, should I look here? Ruins is over here. Okay, Ruins is back here then. Probably. I'll check all over the place first. Can't play with M. I don't know, if you play with friends and you don't have the best ping, then you kinda can't do animation canceling. scope animation cancel haven't no I can't say I have not that good yet just gonna check this it's probably the red must tree but whatever ah. all right invented canceling all canceling not just animation canceling yeah it's probably that way it's probably the ruins right there yep That is why I banned you from my server. <laughs> you canceled me. Are you talking to me? Was I banned from your server? Ah, don't go to sleep. Okay, it's calm phase right now. I don't know, if I was playing Wolfgang, if I was playing Wolfgang, I'd probably tame it just for the speed. And maybe convenience.
Oh, what are the characters that you would say benefit the least from taming a beefalo? Um, I would say Wanda. Just because late game she has way better options to teleport all around, you know? To get her on the map. In addition to the fact that she can't use her whip while she's riding a beefalo. Okay, according to Gaio, best way to find the ruins is to go straight from the cave entrance or from the wilds entrance. And it looks like he's right. Go straight. I do want to get some bananas though. Banana. Banana. Oh, that's cool. So you can maintain your mightiness on a beefalo by just holding the dumbbell. Yet another reason why beefalo taming is OP. Uh, I'm going to play it a little bit safe. Feed you some lichen. G Rig is allergic to beefalo taming. <laughs> what? If you tame a beef as wolf, you have to deal with throwing your dumbbell at the beef when trying to ride it five million times. <laughs> that sounds frustrating. Yeah, there's a couple things they could tweak about the beef low taming process. For sure. Are beefalo a real thing? What is a beefalo? A cross between a cow and a buffalo? <laughs> yeah. So the thing about Gao is, half the time, I don't even know if he's serious or not. Now he's talking about going back to Wendy. Okay, are they on this side? No. That's a weird 
it's a really long branch. Where do you come from? Is that another one? No. Debate you on Jakey Soros. What was the debate about Jakey Soros? I forgot. And it's kind of weird to debate. One guy has a mic, other guy has a, a chat. We had like 30 debates about Jakey. Uh, no, was it about Jakey? I think we had one about speed running, right? What is considered speed running? <laughs> the music choices. Is that a regular one or is that a I think it's a nightmare one? Do y'all know Jakey Soros? Like I know who that is. Should I try not to get hit by these guys? Expert is anyone with 8,000 hours on in something, though? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because time invested doesn't necessarily mean skill or knowledge. Like, you could have 8,000 hours doing, like, picking berries the whole time. It doesn't necessarily mean that you know anything about the game. Can a beef ride a boat? Yes. Beef can hop on the boat if you're riding it. <laughs> I guess that's a good analogy. Why 
I don't have to worry about nightmare fuel. Oh, that's a lot of nightmares. Do I need to... 25 is good enough. Okay. And there it is. It was here all along. Why is there a stripper at the entrance? It's interesting. Eat. Kind of a weird um, labyrinth entrance. I'll take it. What is a rhythm? I don't really have a rhythm. I kind of look for the beefalo, beefalo's head to like move forward and up i guess that's what i kind of look for i think 27 nightmare fuel is going to be enough so no need to fight anything else <laughs> expert at eating food <laughs> as in like picking the food from the plate putting it into your mouth I want to read this Wait. same with picking berries 8,000 hours picking a berry I'd say you're an expert at picking berries yeah well that's the thing That that is true but uh 8,000 hours picking berries makes you an expert at picking berries, but it doesn't make you an expert at DST. It makes you at this, an expert at the specific task that you have um, done for 8,000 hours in DST. But to be honest, I don't think, I don't think you should look at hours at all to determine how good somebody is or how much of an expert they are. It should just be based off of you know their knowledge what kind of arguments are they making how are they backing up that argument and then i guess proofs too like if they're trying to say that they're good at speed running or something then um they should be able to prove it can you pick berries with a steering wheel <laughs> Can you pick berries with a steering wheel? Man, I hope AG has some yellow gems. That's when you found... Actually, no. Two is enough. That's everything I need. Never mind. Is AG back here where I was earlier? I think he is. Yep. Most definitely is. Have I ever made it to summer? Uh, one time I made it to summer. One time. Super good RNG. So I can't really say I'm an expert at summer. Days, not hours. Oh, there he is. All right. 
Ancient Guardian time. Pop you down here. Give you a good feeding. Make a fire. So my sanity doesn't go crazy. Even need this. Okay, hopefully, I don't get my beefalo killed. AG. Man, I already feel like getting off of him right now. Just because. Play it real safe. Oh, dang. You went right through that, huh? He doesn't jump at me. He only jumps in the second phase, right? I think after this I'll get off again. So weird, sometimes I feel confident about animation counseling, sometimes I don't. I think it honestly really has to do with my computer. Oop. Man. There it is. Jump.
I guess maybe the side is better. Ooh. There it is. Finally. Clear all the tentacles around here. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, give you some food. Bunch of goodies. Don't need that. Uh, guess I'll take that. Whoops. I need that. I guess I'll take this too. Okay. What else do I... Can I throw something away? I guess I'll eat this. Yeah, so it's pretty good loot. Uh, actually, the lazy explorer is probably the best thing you can get, right? No. It's happening. No, just steak. <laughs> Save your money, man. I haven't even cooked those steaks yet. Debates are more about being right than the truth. No, actually, I, I actually don't agree with that, Tristan. I think debates are not even for convincing your opponent or yourself, right? Debates are for convincing the audience. Because it assumes that the people who are watching are not invested in either side. They are kind of going into it with an open mind. Debate me on debates. I don't know, guy, I think we might have the same view on debates, right? Discussions, not debates. What's the difference between a discussion and a debate? Is a debate just a more combative discussion? That's what it seems like it is. Actually, maybe discussions and debates are like, um, you know, squares and rectangles. Like, every debate is a discussion, but not every discussion is a debate. I think that's how you're supposed to view it. Okay, but you guys are giving me examples of debates, what you consider debates and discussions, right? But what are the def what's like the definition of it? How long does an average ruins rush take? It really depends on the person because some people they like to just get in and get out. Others like to kind of clear. For me, um, from the time I go into the ruins to the time I get out, I would say six days. I mean, not ruins. From the time I go into the caves and the time I get out, total of six days. 
average. If I'm not streaming. <laughs> if I'm streaming a little bit longer because I become a little bit absent-minded. So you got eight bananas, bunch of cactus. If I'm literally just in for a star color and mag, usually four days. <laughs> Grief yourself looking for the ruins. Just do a pro day 22 ruins rush. Oh, I've done some of those, man. I think on our Wigfrid and the uh, Weremu stream, it's a little bit longer than 22 days. I think it was more like, what was it? Wait, I thought I found the complete, oh, completed is there. Uh, yeah, I'll go to the completed. I have the gear. Honestly, ever since they buffed the Ancient Guardian's loot, you really just have to kill him and you're pretty set. You know, you have at least one staff, you have an amulet, you might have some armor or something, and you have a bunch of Zulacite, you can make some stuff. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty interesting definition can get behind that that the intent of you know the person doing the speaking in a debate de determines whether it's a debate or a discussion it's pretty cool Okay, what am I making? Making that. Bring all of my stuff to here. Should probably just eat this. Forgot to craft a ham bat. So dumb. Oh crap, I'm making walls? What? Idiot. Okay, I did that. What else do I need? So make that. Guess I'll just make a bunch of crowns then. Or wait, did I make the star collar already? I didn't, yeah. Make a star collar. Make two to the side clubs because I, I'm a dummy. I forgot my hand bat. I guess the rest can just be um, crowns. Wait, are you guys saying something in the chat? To the side walls. <laughs> yep, not paying attention. Can I make, I think that's good. I'm not sure if I can even carry anything out at this point. Okay, I'll drop everything here. Drop, drop, drop. Deeplo drops me. Come on, man, let me on. Drop that. Okay. 
don't need marble suit anymore. Take the clubs. Can I carry everything? Can't carry everything. Can I drop something? Drop the logs. Guess I'll drop this construction amulet. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I think I got a bunch of ruins loot. Getting out. Yeah, I like the moon walls. Moon walls look cool. Okay, if I can get... What do I need? I need some lichen. That's what I need. Because this beefalo is going to stay put for a while. But I really need some bananas. Is there any more banana trees? No. So I'm not going to get any more bananas. Oh well. Yeah, that's weird. That gears turn to ash when you burn the clockwork. Come on, leave me alone. Do I even need grass for anything? I don't think I do. I want to drop something. Yeah, I'll drop the grass. What do you feel about night vision? Night vision mod? Uh, kind of unfair. Or are you talking about the mod for WX? Or like a mod that lets any character have night vision? It kind of nullifies Wes's lack of boy. I'm sorry guys, I'm not keeping up with the comments. Yeah, that's kind of cheap, man. <laughs> I would feel dirty using that. Still dirty, still not as dirty as I'd feel if I'd played uh, Maxwell, though. Oh, I'm starving again. What's going on? I'm going to eat once I start taking damage. Because I am not smart enough to pay attention to my hunger at this point. Okay, where was that dude? There's probably a nightmare I'm going to attack me. Oh, it's a nightmare. There he is. Okay. Give me your sanity. Eatings for quitters. <laughs> okay, guys, do you guys know the recipe for banana shakes by any chance? Oh, gosh, I forgot about these worms. Do I have to clear them out first? I think I do. And they're coming right for me. Here we go.
That's so annoying that I gotta beat all these guys first. Ugh. It's gonna slow down this run so much. Oop. Okay, one down. Well, at least I got some food for my beefalo. It's a little positive. Now you need to eat. Stupid hands. Get away. Get away. Oh my gosh, the Slurdles and these guys? That is so annoying. Because the Slurdles also will kind of mess up this guy's fight. And I can't destroy them because I don't have any grass. Dang it, that's going to be annoying. No, I'm doing it on foot. Not fighting him on the beef flow. Not that crazy. Wait, did I forget? No, I got it. Okay. This guy keeps on getting aggroed by those worms. Yeah, sorrows are annoying. Okay. Well, what's more annoying is this stupid, or is it? Which one, which one, which one? There we are, this one. Actually, maybe I should leave some of these guys alive because they will help me in the fight. Okay, I'll just kill this guy. And if there are any other ones, then... Oh, well. There is one. Okay. Just get away from you. Man, so much annoying stuff. Hold on, my screen is cut. Oh, okay, thanks for telling me that. Let me try to adjust that real quick. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay, and I'm a really, I'm so dumb, because, actually I'm not dumb, I'm not dumb. Let's put this beefalo away, somewhere safe. Uh, where's a safe place? 
I guess here's a safe place. It's a bill. Looks like his hunger is almost full. Okay, good. Nine hits. What? Okay. Got my Sandy with the party balloons. Oh no, I hear one of them. Leave me alone. Oh, not insane anymore. There it is. It's annoying. Am I going to have to deal with these two guys? Give me some sanity. <laughs> Let me... I just want to cook. He's gonna do it. <laughs> He's so weird. Why? Why aren't you running? Why? Why isn't he running? Do I have to hit him after he does this to get him? Okay, I guess that's what you gotta do. He's just not gonna start running until you damage him. Interesting. Okay. My biggest fear is just going insane. One, two, three. I guess worst case scenario. One, two, three. I can get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen hits. It's a magic number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on. Man, these tentacle spikes are really draining my. Or these uh, shadow tentacles are really draining my sanity. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. 
I'm not sure if I have enough cactus flesh for Soundy. Come on. Start punching me. There it is. One more time. One more time. There it is. Okay. Oh, crap. Is this turtle going to mess up the fight? Kind of scared on that one. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I think I'm fine. Actually, I'm out of cactus though. So I don't know, I might go insane. Maybe this worm can help me out? Can I get some help, Death Worm? No, what? No! Oh, is he... You're on your last phase? No, he's not on his last phase. Getting worried about my sanity. Don't want to fight nightmares. Come on. Right here. Is that it? Hey, that's it. I think we're on the last phase. No? Come on. What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No. Man, that punching phase annoying okay I think I got this maybe not who knows I think as long as he doesn't hit you with his hands you're okay oh crap I wasn't counting It's all good. I think we got this. And since Wes uses less durability, only did one fuel cycle up for this. Yay. Nightmare work big. And there is all my sanity. Thank you. Some sandy. So, what should I craft? Should I craft the armor or the head slot item? I think everybody wants me to do the head slot, right? I think everybody agrees that's the better one.
Beefalo probably lost some domestication from that, but oh well. Alright, so that's the last boss I'm going to fight as Wes. From here on out, it's just the Beefalo. It's not, it's not even close. Okay, where did I come out from? Oh, I came out here. Okay, so it's day 18. I've got some time before the shadow, the shadow chest beast fight. Favorite subject in school. I think you can make both if you use green staff. I don't know, Sid probably knows. Sid knows everything. Favorite subject in school, I guess. Maybe math and physics. I don't know. I think everybody over here is probably, we're all probably engineers, right? Everybody who's into gaming, usually they're in, they're also in the sciences. Yeah, so I guess I'll go with the head slot. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use anything. I'm just going to use a beefalo for now on. Where's my base? My base. It's over there. Why do I still have the lantern out? Yeah. Why don't I use construction and deconstruction to duplicate it? Uh, number one, because I didn't bring any of those items. And number two, uh, the goal of this run is to fight everything on the beefalo, except for that last boss we did. So, kind of don't want to, I mean, kind of don't have any use for that new armor. I actually don't have any use for any of this armor. So I'm going to put it all in Chester. Make some chests. all this stuff in here because I'm not going to use you. Make another chest. What an amazing base I have. So, so aesthetics or aesthetically pleasing. Don't need lazy forager either or explorer. What do I need? Don't need that. I'll just keep a club on me. Star collar. Don't need Magi. Actually, Magi might come in handy. Okay. Traveling light. I guess I'll start prepping Dragonfly. Yeah, that's an idea I, th I had before, Trist, which is, yeah, swap a beefalo out when one gets hurt, let him recover while you fight with the other one. It's just, uh, it's a lot of work <laughs> to domesticate two ornery beefalo at the same time.
Maybe if they weren't ornery. If they were like default. I don't know. I just I just got a lot to I got a lot of things I wanted to do. Don't have time to domesticate two of them. I think it's possible with the steam twigs, right? Because you can basically feed your beef loaf for an entire day at the cost of 12 twigs, and that's very manageable. But it does mean that you're going to have to uh, make crock pots, and it, it is extra effort. And at the same time, you're probably not going to get an ornery beef loaf. Yeah, steam twigs is a crock pot dish. It requires four twigs and it's basically food for your beef loaf. It gives your beef loaf 100 hunger at the cost of four twigs. So if you feed your beef loaf one twig by itself, the twig alone will give him about 10 hunger. So you're basically multiplying your twigs by 2.5, which is pretty insane. Lucas Regal says, Tristy, you can bond with only one beef. Uh, that's actually not true. You can bond with as many beef as you want. You just can't hold the bells in your inventory at the same time. However, uh, to get around this, you can put one bell in Chester and then hold Chester's eye bone and hold the other bell in your inventory. That way you can get one beef below following you and the other one you can ride or you can have it follow you too. Oh no, dude, Steam Tweaks has been out for kind of a while. I think it's been at least six months. Uh, Steam Tweaks only gives 10 obedience each. That's the thing. Got 18. That means I'll do 12 and 12. Wait, am, is this right? That's a weird dragonfly. This is the right pond, I think. It's the furthest one away. Yep. Unfortunately, Tristy, if you're... <laughs> the, the, the only thing is that if you're not going to ride it, you're also not going to fight with it, right? Which means it's probably going to turn into a pudgy beefalo if you just feed it steamed twigs. Yeah, it's kind of weird world, Chenya. Oh no, he's gonna eat it. Yeah, his if his hunger is above fifty percent, but um, in order to not make it such a hassle, right? You're gonna want to feed uh your beefalo steam twigs. I mean, each steam twig gives a hundred hunger, so there's a good chance that you're gonna go over over a his halfway point if you're feeding him just with steam twigs unless you have some kind of mod that lets you see how much hunger he has but yeah if you're only feeding him which means you're not uh, riding him or you're not fighting with him probably going to be a pudgy i'd say I don't know. I'm just we're I'm just talking theory though, so I could be completely wrong about whether you know the risk of this method. Maybe it's totally viable. I don't know. Where are you going? Oh, he's running away. Okay. Okay, I got the pan flute. Day nineteen. Should probably make some crock pots or something.
do 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 do. Let's click everything. Is the Beefalo's hunger three hundred? I thought his hunger was three seventy five. For some reason. I know it loses 300 hunger points per day, but I thought its total hunger was more than that. No, you're not crazy. It happens a lot. Dragonfly does it right next to the Peking Biome. It's very common. Yeah, 375. So yeah, I guess I'll go for crockpots. Maybe a birdcage. Oh, these guys are gonna attack me. Yep. Knew it. Yeah, it's 375, but you can't feed him until, or when it has more than 300. Yeah, if you feed him after, if his hunger is above 300 and you feed him, I think he actually loses domestication. Yeah, Steam Twigs definitely is good for Ryder. And for people like Wigfred, if you're going to be fighting bosses off your beefalo, yeah, it's the way to go. It gets sick and it farts. The thing you gotta look out for is the fart though. Oh wait, actually, is the fart... Okay, it farts when it's above 300 and it makes the ew face when it's above 375, right? Is that how it works? Fart is about 50. No, I think it's higher than 50. No, I've never made that healing food. I actually just recently learned about that in a video because, I don't know, I just didn't really, I don't think I'd ever make that. I don't usually farm when I play. Problem is what to do with it while you're rushing ruins. No, you just bring your beefalo with you, right? He's really good for rushing ruins. If you're fighting AG, you mean? Like, or I mean, if you're gonna leave your beefalo at base or something, just make that salt lick. It's not gonna increase its domestication, but at least it won't drop, you know? But yeah, I haven't been. I haven't been doing a good job on this guy uh, at the very start. So I think this dude will probably tame around day 24, I'd say. Which kind of sucks because that means I can't fight uh, bosses with an ornery beeflow until then. Man, is there no grass in this world? What the heck? It's not worth making the beefalo treat. It involves farming a really annoying plant. And farming is really kind of annoying solo. Yeah. Dude, Sid, why do you say everything that I'm thinking? <laughs> I should just let you reply to everybody. You basically are going to say what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, blue caps are the way to go. Blue caps and trail mix. Trail mix is a little bit harder to get, but they do heal 120 HP. Yeah. 
yeah, it restores 300 HP, which is pretty crazy. If there was a way to get Forget Me Lots a lot quicker, then I'd say I'd use it. But it's not something I'd go out of my way for since you can get tons of blue mushrooms at the Blue Mushroom Forest. I should probably... No, Hans are far away from Dragonfly. I should be okay. Oh, by the way, I think somebody asked me before if I almost killed my beefalo when, by picking cactus or something. That actually happened to me the other day. I actually managed to make my beefalo go into the red by picking cactus. Very rare, but can happen. Just gotta watch out. Yeah, I see that. Uh, I gotta cook this meat real quick. Give me some wood. I don't want to use my star collar. You can just plow empty plots and spawn Lord of Fruit Flies and his flies with plant weeds. Yeah, that's one way. It was just... Yeah... I mean, you could do that, it, just to me, the way I play, kind of annoying to, or kind of, that's, that seems kind of out of the way for me. In a long-term world, yeah, that's right. I think it's viable if you're, if you're playing past, you know, like spring or something, but I usually don't play past spring. My bud one, my bud killed one before when I said to just take the beef, if they wanted to go gathering cactus. Wow, he actually killed your beefalo by gathering cactus. <laughs> Man, if Clay had achievements, that'd probably be one of them. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Tomek Maleni. Tomek Maleni. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, maybe you might be onto something. I just haven't thought about it too much. Maybe it might be viable. That'd be cool if you could figure that out. Uh, winter tomorrow. Just burn everything. You guys know that if hounds spawn on day 20, or actually day 18, they can be red, right? You guys know that. So if you ever have a base and hounds spawn around that time, Fight him away from that. Is that a red one? No. How did I cook all these roasted berries? One time I was playing in a public server, and I saw this Maxwell was going insane, and there was like, I don't know, at least six nightmare creatures trying to kill him, and I was trying to be a good, you know, a good friend, a good teammate, and so I said, here, Maxwell, take my beefalo and uh, fight the nightmare creatures. Little did I know that he probably installed that game that very same day, and he didn't know how to fight at all, so he just stood there and just got my beefalo killed. Like, didn't even try to kite it. I don't think he knew how to kite at all. Just stood there and held F. <laughs> against, like, four terror beaks and two crawling horrors. That was a very sad day. It's fully tamed ornery beef flow, too.
but luckily the everybody else on the server uh, let me roll back. So we rolled back. Unfortunately, Maxwell died after that. Where do I go? Probably gonna start freezing to death. Wait, I was in the Maktas forest. Yeah, so I should stay here probably. <sighs> don't kill me, freeze, don't kill me. That's 8,000 hours picking berries, probably. <laughs> Kiting is tryharding. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I do have sympathy for people who don't kite. Um, because, I don't know, DST is not a game that's meant to be played at a very high skill level it, with friends. I don't think. If you're playing solo, yeah, but man, if you're with friends, hard to kite when you don't have good ping. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. I forgot. I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go to the blue mushroom forest and pick up some blue mushrooms from beef or else he's gonna die so here I go yeah right now I'm playing offline so it's completely dependent on my computer so I actually can sort of animation cancel right now. Alchemy Engine is back at my base. It's on the way to the Shadow Chess Beast fight. But right now, I gotta get some blue, uh, blue mushrooms because I need some insurance in case my beef low gets messed up. Man, I wish the pickaxe could dig stuff up too. Make it so much better. Okay. Do you see any? I just need 10 of these. I'm good. Oh, get more. Do you have to break the bond so that people can ride your beefalo? No. Um, to let somebody else ride your beefalo, you need to do one of two things. Number one, you can drop your bell. Basically, your bell ha cannot be in your or anybody else's inventory. So if you drop the bell on the ground, anybody can ride your beefalo. If you give the bell to somebody else, only the person who has the bell can ride it. So that's what you need to do if you want to lend somebody your truck. Just give them the keys. And fun fact, if you put your bell inside Chester, then nobody can ride your beefalo. What? What? Why are you... Why is he... Uh... That doesn't make any sense. Why is he in heat? Did he catch that from the other beefalo that are right next to the wormhole? That is weird. Okay, let's see. Still acting up? Nope. All right. 
What, is that a new thing where if he's close to other beefalo in heat, then he also is in heat? When you, like, load him into the world? Hope that's not the case. I have a solution for that, though, but it's kind of annoying if I have to do it. All right. Nope. He's still in heat. Are you still in heat? No. He's not in heat. Interesting. Man, I'm going to miss this shadow chest piece fight. I'm, g I'm barely going to make it. Uh, the solution was run away from the other beefalo and exit the game and spawn back in. Because the thing that I was thinking is that it's proximity base. So if he's far away enough or I'm far away enough that the beefalo who are in heat are unloaded from the game, then... It won't affect him. That was my theory. All right, buddy. I have some food. You're going to need it. Okay. Going to be a little bit late to this fight. Steam twigs are good, yep. They are good for when beef flows in heat. I don't know guys, to be honest, this fight right here is probably the hardest one of the run. Because you're forced to fight shadow chest pieces on day 21. With an untamed beef flow. Who's gonna buck you off after... He's probably gonna buck me off in 4 minutes. And there's no way I can beat all three pieces in four minutes. In addition to that, phase two, these chest pieces are guaranteed hits on you. Um, you can dodge the rook, but you cannot dodge the bishop. Bishop will do 40 damage to you every single time. So, I don't know, man. This could be a kind of a challenge. Let's see what happens. Play don't have to roll back. Okay. Max out this guy's hunger. Ideally, you want this guy to be fully fed, like three hundred hunger going into this fight because you don't want him to not let you jump back on that yeah so that's pretty good it's pretty well fed let me cook some cactus just for myself so i don't go insane might have to bring nah i hopefully i can do this with this beefalo Feed him a little bit more. Okay. And maybe, maybe like the, the, the things that spawn in the swamp can help me out a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Yup, stupid things in the swamp. Really gotta watch this guy's HP. This bishop is... Oh, I actually dodged the bishop. That's pretty cool.
Oh, gosh. Got hit by both of them. It's not good. So now I will try and find a good opportunity. So after Knight tries to attack me, come on, Knight. No, that's right, the tentacle. Oh, what an idiot. Okay, come on, Knight. Attack me. Okay, feed you a little bit. I think you recovered a little bit from that. Yeah, phase two is the hardest. Definitely the hardest. We're just gonna take constant damage from this stupid bishop. Undodgeable teleport. Oh, great. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm kind of colorblind a little bit. Okay, I got two heals off. Good. Oh, gosh. That just took away that healing that I did. If I can just get past this phase, seriously. The level 3 Shadow Rook is not a big deal. Because you can just constantly dodge him. Okay. Is it? Is my is my screen red? You guys know? It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think it's red. Oh, come on. It's not letting me... That's so dumb. Okay. I think... Good. Come on, Tentacle. Tentacle, I brought it home. There we go. Oh no, just remember I'm gonna mess up the fight. Oh crap.
Yeah, so I gotta say, this, the Shadow Chest piece is hardest boss fight of this run. Just because, yeah, you're not on a fully tamed beefalo for this guy. So you're only doing 34 damage, and you will get bucked off. Oh, crap. You do not want to get hit by this guy, though. Does 165 damage per attack. Beefalo is probably already really hurting from the stage 2 pieces. Please don't buck me off. Please don't buck me off. I wonder what his timer is right now. Just don't miss. Just don't miss. I'm missing some of my hits. Okay. Alright. Hardest boss out of the way. Finally. Feel a little bit better now. <laughs> Okay, first uh, quote unquote raid boss completed. Shadow chest pieces. Just using the beefalo. Took a very long time. Uh, working. And that's as much as I'll say. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, and my beefalo is not even in the red, I think. I think he's not in the red. I have a really hard time seeing that sometimes. Feed the blues. I'm going to save him for my next fight. Colorblind. I think it's just blind blind because I can't see, you know, even if you're colorblind, you should be able to see something on the bottom of your screen. But I don't know. For me, it just doesn't work sometimes. Okay, so I predict this guy is going to be tamed tomorrow just because I had such a bad start. No crockpots. Don't need no crockpots. Oh. Appreciate it, man. Hold on, did I did my screen mess up again? No, screen's still good. Okay. Next fight is Dragonfly. Should probably bring this too. I just hope that this beefalo is tamed by Dragonfly. By the Dragonfly fight. Uh, still got that shovel. Yeah, so I'd say probably the next time I ride this guy. Like after I get off of him the next time. You'll probably be fully tamed. There's Dragonfly. Oh, it's kind of far. Oh yeah, gotta prototype some walls. Or rather, I gotta prototype cut stone. Okay. My 
I should be good on food. Beefalo. I think he's probably at least, I want to say more than halfway. Like his HP is probably more than halfway full. I think he's probably going to be good to go without any healing. Can you count to six? Yeah. Six hits, then dodge. Six hits, then dodge. Okay, what do you guys think? Is this people are going to be tamed? I don't think so. No. He is not tamed yet. It's got to be really close, though. Uh, where's my star collar? This pig is going to mess up the fight, I can tell already. I should have turned me into a were pig. That wasn't it too, huh? I'm going to start the fight. See what happens. Whoa. What? Man. Alright, is it team now? Please team. There we go. Good boy. Alright, fully team day 23. A little bit slow, but it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two,
Dang it. I think what uh, Justin is saying is, is it fast enough to dodge the dragonfly when it's coming towards me? Two, three, sorry. There's a cool thing you can do. Just for insurance. I probably didn't need to feed him that. But. Just to be safe. That's too much. Whoa. Okay. Hang back. Nah, I think they should keep it how it is. Beeflo is already really good. It just gets taken... I mean, it just uh, needs getting used to a little bit.
Alright. Dragonfly dead. Where are we? Good job, Beeplo. There's some heals. Now let's instantly spawn. Wins it there. Oh, damn. Okay, sorry, I have to focus a little bit over there. Do we all go to the same place when we dream? <laughs> it depends what you mean by place. Like, are we actually connected to other people when we dream? I don't think so. I think we're all in our own heads. Super thematic that we could buff Pudgy Beeflo with. Um, yeah, so I guess a swimming. Another idea too is to make the Pudgy Beeflo give, either give the rider, who's ever riding the Pudgy Beeflo gets like 240 insulation against both cold and heat. That could be another thing. Or they could make him, they could make the pudgy beefalo like a portable source of cold or heat. So like if you get close to him, your thermal sto stones are gonna like warm up or cool down. Just some ideas. You hallucinate in your sleep. Yeah, I guess is that is that technically true? I don't know. I should be looking for the deer and the cloth though.
Hey, Puli. How's it going? Portable thermal stone. Uh, it's more like a portable refrigerator or scaled furnace is more what I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you not in control? You sure your subconsciousness is not in control of their agency? What? <laughs> okay, I don't think we have Klaus or the deer in the picking biome. Could be wrong. Hey, Puli, I was talking earlier. Is your favorite character still Maxwell? Sleep is for normies. If you kill somebody... Well, killing somebody, killing, well, technically killing somebody is not in and of itself morally wrong, right? Murdering somebody is wrong, but killing them is not, it's, it's not morally right or wrong. Yeah. Maybe I was just being a, I was being an idiot though because I think what uh, Tristan meant to say was murder. I was just being. Like what is that? Being really picky. What? Where is he? Where are you charging, man? Did you guys see that? He just left. <laughs> he didn't want none of this. <laughs> the heck was that? One of them down.
Number two, where are you at? There he is. This one is harder. Just because minions get annoying. Okay, Klaus is right there. Put that down. Gotta find a deer. Oh man, are they in the mosaic? Please don't be in the mosaic. Are you guys saying that they should turn Pudgy Beef Flow into a chest? Like a portable chest? Because that's pretty. That can be pretty broken, maybe? I don't know. Because technically, you can get as many pudgy beef flows as you want. Get tons of portable chests. Nah, that's not really broken. Yes, it wouldn't be broken. Yeah. No, I think uh, if I could choose though, if I had to pick uh, um, from all our suggestions, being able to swim would be awesome. It's a different option other than the wear goose to, to you know, be, be able to turn on a dime in the ocean. That would just make it so much more enjoyable. Being able to fish off of Wabi, you know, you can actually go and pick, like, you can get salt and stuff. You can actually fight Crab King, technically. He, like, he turns into a well-designed boss. Because you can actually dodge him and crap. Ouch.
man. These deer. So one thing Junkamok Paws is you gotta find him and the deer. Kind of annoying. Gotta activate it. Activate it. Oh, I didn't activate it. Whoops. Floating saddle. Oh, almost forgot this guy. Dang, he's only at half HP. Probably not gonna be able to beat him tonight. Come on, Talbert, help me out. Where are those deer? The next one is Kloss, and that's pretty much it. But I'm trying to find the deer, can't find them right now. So far I've searched both birch nut biomes. So they gotta be here somewhere. Probably around the graves.
Thoughts on coffee? Coffee in real life? Or coffee in DST? Guessing coffee in DST. Or Don't Starve. I actually haven't played Don't Starve that much. So I don't have too much experience with coffee. But from what Sid tells me, it's really good. Starting to wonder if there are here in this map. Then no. There you guys are. All right. what oh in real life i actually don't drink coffee in real life i don't drink coffee and that's it's just because i don't want to get addicted to it i don't want to rely on it because you know you drink it not just for the taste but for the kick that it gives you I'd rather just not I just would rather train myself so that I don't need that I just I don't know but if I did drink coffee I would probably enjoy the taste more if it did have sugar but I would want to drink it black that's probably what would happen Nah, not a tea drinker either. Okay, this guy should go down tonight. Alright. Who's a terror done? Guess I'll take the shield. Yeah, beef will make twins of terrors really easy. It's because of the speed. I'm not sure how the fight would go if I was using a war saddle though. It might not be enough speed to... Actually, no. War Saddle gives like almost 50%. So I'd imagine it's also really viable on the War Saddle. Let's see, I'll do this.
How'd you get into DST? <laughs> uh, should I cook the monster meat? I guess I will. Probably will not need to eat this stuff because run ends after I beat Colossus. But yeah, it's always nice to have some kind of backup. How did I get into DST? Uh, had a friend who, you know, he said, hey, try this game. Didn't like it at first because I died to, I think I died to like a tentacle. And my friend uh, didn't really put a lot of effort into revi reviving me. <laughs> so I was like basically drifting as a ghost for a good couple days. That was my first experience of the game. But I stuck with it. And yeah. Eventually, after learning a couple things, being more successful, the game. Yeah. Able to appreciate it. Oh, by the way, one thing about fighting Klaus as Wes, since he has such low health and he has weaknesses to both heat and cold, you gotta actually watch, watch your health in this fight, even if you're riding a beefalo, because you can die. So you gotta bring some kind of healing. Anyway, everybody knows how to fight Klaus on Beefalo. Pretty straightforward. If you know how to fight Klaus normally, it should be easy. Yeah, look at my health. I'm on a B flow. I'm not taking any of his any damage from his hits, but it's still going down. Like I'm almost at half. It's just one thing you gotta watch out for as Wes.
out. Okay. There we go. That's the end of the stream. Beefalo Taming OP. Basically, the only boss I had to use equipment for was the Nightmare Werepig. And that's just because I'm a little punk. I think you can do Nightmare Werepig on the Beefalo. But yeah, four raid bosses, Ruins Rush, Nightmare Wear Pig, Ancient Guardian, and just use the B flow. Barely, I think I had to use blue caps a little bit for that Shadow Chess Beast fight, but honestly, other than that, I didn't really need it against the other raid bosses. The War Saddle might not be worth it. Is that just because it lowers your speed and speed is so valuable? I'd say the War Shadow might not be worth it against, I mean, if you're using it as Maxwell. But it's definitely worth it if you're Wendy. Yeah, it's trash. <laughs> trash, cloths, loot. Let's see, Scaled Furnace. No Crappy Sack. Do I have this ready? I already know this. All right, guys. Yeah, that's it for the run. Nothing super special. Just wanted to kind of, it's like proof of concept that people people are pretty worth it. You know, you can fight raid bosses with them. Like I, I literally didn't have to craft any weapon this entire run. I, I guess you could call crafting those uh, those two like clubs a weapon, but. Other than that, I beat everything else with just beefalo. No weapons, no heals. I thought the Krampus uh, sack drop rate was 20%. But, yeah, I guess for me it seems like 10%. Hardly ever get it. The game knew you ain't playing further. You know what, actually my setup is this, like my late game setup, which I haven't done in a long time because I hardly ever play late game, but it's, I have a Glossomer saddle and a War saddle. I just keep the War saddle in my inventory and I just swap them out whenever I need a fight. But that's because I play Wendy. So for Wendy, it's essential to use the War saddle, right? Because you can do like back, uh, Wolfgang level damage. I think you do like 102 damage per hit. But yeah, anyway, thanks for keeping me company, you guys. <laughs> Not the most exciting run. To be honest, I, to be honest, the Wigfred Wearmoose run was probably my favorite one I've done so far. But unfortunately, we showed the perspective from the Wigfred's point of view. Uh, it's more fun when you see the, the Wearmoose because he's just constantly healing, constantly tanking everything. Like, you really feel invincible when you play him. So... I don't know, we're going to try and do that eventually. Wigfrid, wear moose, and I'll be the moose this time. And then, maybe sometime down the line, I'll do a, a Wendy run. I'll try and do all the bosses. Well, all the bosses except for Crab King 
and CC. Just do all the mainland ones because I don't have a stamina for all the bosses in the game. It's like 10 hours or something. Or 8 hours. No. Don't have it in me. Maybe if I drank coffee. Celestial Champion on a beef. I actually can do the Celestial Champion on a beef fight pretty consistently. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely doable. Marty's a furry, what? <laughs> oh, because I made the joke to Comrade about him being a furry because he plays Woody. <laughs> I think that's what you're talking about. Man, I wish they let you tame um, Qualifants. That would be pretty cool. That's the sound of a lack berry picking expertise. <laughs> anyway, guys. Yeah, again, thank you so much for keeping me company. Um, yeah, I got to go get something to eat now. You can hear it in my voice. Starving in real life. Ancient Fuel Weaver versus Beef is okay, too. No. <laughs> Well, at least the way I fight Ancient Fuel Weaver, which is Tank and Spank, it's not okay. I think if you fight it with Finesse, it is okay. Like, But the beef just cannot tank a lot of hits. 1000 HP. The beefalo, honestly, the beefalo is basically one Thulocyte crown. That's how much durability it has. It's a little bit more than that. Which is not a lot. So... You really got to rely on the speed to dodge everything. But yeah. Yep. That's me too. Regrets. Not marble armor. I just use Thulocyte gear. But yeah, I just tank Fuel Weaver. Because he's really annoying. You want to just do maximum damage. Don't even bother like dodging and stuff. Okay, guys. Take care, everybody.